Okay, mateys. We're going to call this part two. I've got the phone attached to the monocular. It's a little hard to hold the whole thing steady. Steady and try to adjust. Maybe if I had a, there was a table up here to set it on. I'm looking towards Kent City right now. And yeah, it's a little blurry. Okay, we've kind of sort of focused in on those trees. Let me walk to the edge of the hill here. The monocular is heavier than the phone and the mount. So I'm holding I'm holding the unit in my left hand. Actually I'm holding the camera in my left hand. And yeah, it's bringing things up pretty close. And then that's to help hold it against the camera lens, which is, of course, off right now. I mean, it's not perfectly adjusted. I think this is going to take a lot more practice. And the weird part is there's another button. Hmm. Probably this will probably get blurred out if I get much closer to the sun. Probably giving you vertigo. Okay, I'm trying to adjust the focal range. Those trees are a good half mile away from me. Let's see if I can make it any clearer. Hang on. Is that any better? Yeah, it is. Those houses you see, to my naked eye, are pretty tiny. But through this monocular, But still the focal point, right? Trying to get the focal point right is an issue. And I'm shaking like you can't believe because I'm trying to not shake. <laughs> Okay, that's south towards Grand Rapids, and it's pretty misty. Oh, I see a farmer. There he is. He's on YouTube now. I bet he's one of the Fisk. Okay, slowly pan to the north. 
slow. Yeah, right. I am turning right. Now I'm just, oh, there we go. Tower is a quarter mile away from me. It looks a lot bigger in the screen. Okay, now we're looking into Nuevo County. So stupid hard to hold this steady. Okay, mateys. I'm going to call this good for part two. I'm definitely going to have to find ways to practice, make a steady tripod for this, and we'll go from there. Okay, mateys. Fair winds and smiles. Pan slowly. And may God bless.